One, two. Test, one, two. Ah. <coughs> there we go. Sorry about that, folks. Um, didn't know what was going on there. I was just, I looked at my um, other screen just then, and I'm like, uh, hang on, where's the sound? <laughs> That's a bit rude. I had the sound working about 10 minutes ago when before I set up the screen. I was talking all for the last 10 minutes and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> ah, my voice needs a rest now. We welcome you all to our Tuesday tradition here at Australia Worldwide Gaming. My name is The Godfather. I am your experienced Australian train sim world 2 driver. Welcome to our 77th edition of Choo Choo Tuesdays. We've got three hours of train at Sidwell 2 on our high end PC here for you today on this June 7th, 2022. Thank you for joining me. And it is just after 8 pm in the east coast of Australia. 11 a, just after 11 am in the UK, just after midday in Germany. a.m. in Boston. It's just after 3 a.m. in Los Angeles. Man, if you're in L.A., man, man, you got 3 a.m. What are you doing? You're getting a bit by snack, so. <laughs> well, it is Tuesday the, the 7th, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What are we going to, what's today, folks? What is today? It's roll map, roll map day, roll map, roll map day, roll map, roll map day, roll map day. What's next? What's next for the roll map? What's next? What's next for the roll map? What's next for the roll map? Roll map coming up later today at Australia Worldwide Gaming. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The road map details will be provided later on today. It will premiere first at 360p. I do apologise for when it does because uh, we want to get the information out as quick as possible. It will be a um, well, if there is some photos and everything. Uh, we'll, uh, it definitely will be 4K, but if there's no photos or anything, we'll just have 1080p. But uh, yeah, what's next on the roadmap? That is the question. Are we going to get the UK announcement like I've been saying for the last month? I don't know. Are we going to get the the announcement of the German train route for? You know, are we going to finally get? What, what are we going to find out? We're going to find out if the, the, the stakes is correct. I don't know. Find out. Roadmap coming up later today. It'll be interesting to see what uh, is happening with the roadmap. Um, I really, really honest. Uh, I'd like to see something, but yeah, going off the tail uh, last, last roadmap. Uh, I don't know, last one was really awesome, wasn't it? And they already said it would be good the next one. So. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 
Chris says, G'day Godfather. I uh, went to the Xbox app on my PC. It's not on there.
Yeah, it doesn't mean that uh, it will be August, um, Chris, I just, you know, um, there is no confirmed um, release for the core update for this year at the moment. Uh, all things are subject to change. So, Down now. Bounce anyway uh, when we do get uh, full updates, but uh, you know, subject to change always. So, you know, Dovetail have, all, have changed a lot of things over the last year, like midnight releases, for instance, are gone. Uh, they've changed the dates of when uh, Train Sim World 2 stuff gets released. It'll be later in the week, it's earlier in the week now. It's, uh, you know, a lot of things have changed, the roadmaps have changed, uh, the teams have changed, you know. There's always changes, so I wouldn't rule out a core update being at a different time. So this is the wonderful world of Dovetail Games. Remember, the last two releases have not got every single timetable correct. <laughs> I come across another one today. Actually, I was uh, at, up to a checkpoint, had to stop, and then all of a sudden it went flying off the track. for Spirit of Steam, yeah, 18 months, yay, yeah. and then all of a sudden you get to a checkpoint, and it just stops, derails, yay, yeah. good stuff. Oh, I'm going along, and all of a sudden there's a signal fail, and there's no signal in the end of nowhere, oh yeah, oh, fantastic. 18 months, wow. If you are uh, um, watching us and you're not a subscriber and you um, you know watch us for the first couple of hours, I want you to watch us for the whole three hours. Not just you know come along two seconds and then you go away. You know, like come on, I know you're a quick pot, so you know. We do the right thing. Stay for the whole three hours. Enjoy the ride. You know, I take my time out every single night. And come do these streams with you guys. What's all three hours? But uh, yeah, that's the one I was doing and uh, first up today. 
and uh, yeah, all, out of nowhere I got to a checkpoint at the stop and it all of a sudden just derailed automatically and I, I tried to reset it again and the same thing kept happening and happening and another thing as well, uh, I had a bug where there was no uh, fireman. I'm like, there's no fireman there as well, so I was like, okay, um, why is this the case? Uh, when I've seen Neil uh, ATV do the same run and yet pass it with no issue, and he's on a PC, I'm on a, he's on a high-end PC, I'm on a high-end PC, so what the hell? <laughs> By the way, I've upped my graphics uh, today from 2012 to 140%. So the 120 that I've been rolling with for a while, I'm up to 140 today. Look at that, I'm pumping. Beautiful, it's, it's 80 frames. It's not Thomas the Tank Engine, AJ. Thomas is number one. This is a legit uh, design. This is a legit design. I tried to trick you guys on the uh, launch night with the Thomas one, eh? And I said it, it's like, uh, with the uh, Thomas one, and uh, knowing it was already gone. He's got, he's got it right, didn't he? So I didn't trick you, so I thought I'd get you, but uh, that's why I started playing the Thomas music. I thought, oh, I'll get, I'll try to see if I can get everyone to say, hey, it's, it's Thomas. And then it'll be like, eh, wrong answer. <laughs> I didn't get you, so I'm like, damn it. I'm still waiting for Buddy Thomas to be done. I, I, I swear, I'm, I'm still waiting for someone to come along with the eyes and you know, paint, paint in front of it. I don't think you can paint in front of it. I don't. I think I think that's how it's done. Thomas is a small engine. That's right. This is the big engine. But it still would have been good to have a Thomas Buddy. Still, yeah.
thought I'd bring this. Uh, guys Rancorn, Rancorn now. I think it would stop further down the line, would it? You know, get a this far back. We've got that train in front as well, and we have to, uh, note that one. Uh, Might have gone off out of our way. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Oop, let that do the right thing.
I love this uh, bridge just here, you know, you got all the houses all over this side, you know, all the houses, and then on this side it's all warehouses and stuff. You got some houses on this side as well, but uh, you got all the industrial over here, man, it's absolutely sick. And look at this bridge. How cool is this bridge? I still haven't come across that uh, working yet. I know Dovetail showed it working on the preview, but have we had it? Have you have you seen it? Have, have I seen it? Uh, I don't know. It's incredibly detailed though, I absolutely love it. Look at all that. All the industrial and ah uh, damn bloody tastic. I think that crossover and all that area, I swear, uh, it's one of the most detailed areas in TSW. It's absolutely incredible. Coming out of crew, we are on our way to Liverpool, Lime Street.
Yeah, so that's why Dovetail sort of said that they're going to take a couple months uh, to sort out all the issues after the release of Spirit and Steam, Chris, because uh, it makes sense, you know, for them to say a few months because, you know, you've got July, August, um, so that's why I'm sort of thinking that maybe late August to September, or September would be. I think it maybe September will be the call this year, to be honest, so I think that uh, they'll give us the extra time, they'll, they'll do the extra time to uh, fix the issues and get this See, it's going into the yellow now. So I'm going to actually bring it back, actually, I'm just going to take it back to where it was. Uh, actually, it was 135%, there you go. There's not much really much difference between them anyway, so... So... Seems better. See, it was over 50 minutes, 6 minutes.
the lights like that. Hopefully it's not a bloody red signal issue. That's what I thought, there would be something behind us I reckon that um, maybe it's coming off there and then have to go over. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. There's a train behind us, there's nothing in front of us. I can only suggest that the steam train come through there. It would be a, most likely a coal one um, and then it will have to cross over these tracks here and downwards. Uh, to get into the yards there, and that's blocking our way to go through. And that's so they have they have the signal. So you have the signal. We got the signal ready to go. So okay, the red signal there. Too, hmm. We'll find out. Yeah, behind. Like I'm thinking. Bloody at the passenger service as well. So if it's not that, then what is it? Hopefully it's not as not another red EQ. I would hate to think that after coming coming down far this far into the trip, and then that's the case. And then I found another issue with this. I swear to God, if it is, then seriously. You guys are watching it live, so if the issues happen, then you know what to do. Go to the forums. Let them know. The frustration. <laughs> no, I, can, I can only think it is this one, but it, it, it just is a fair bit behind. It's, I don't see anything else. There's nothing in front that suggests any other. It can go up a little bit.
Here comes that other train now. You know what I'll do. I can only think that we're going to go that way as well. And then that's the reason why we can't get through, because we've got to wait for that one. This son of a bitch is stopping at every stop. Ah, do apologize for this, folks. Hopefully we'll get it all sealed it out soon and uh, as soon as we get the green light we shall return with some more gameplay. I'll be using it for now. Ding, 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 ding. There we go, see? I knew it. I'm going on the our path. Why did it take so long? Why, why, why couldn't they give us the green light over that? That was way behind. We, man, we could have been way in front. Man, why did they take that? That is a joke. That's a joke. Don't you think? Like, come on. Surely that's got to be wrong. I I don't see, even if I get the green signal, I don't see me going, why I need to go forward. When it's just going to give me another red signal in front. I'll wait till this thing's clear. It's going to stop down here. Unless it goes onto another platform, I highly doubt it. There it is. Oh, well, 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 it did, actually. There you go. It went on to another, it went on to another track. Well, that was our fault. That was our fault. Alright, so now that's happened, we should be clear. We should be clear. We should be right there. Alright.
All right, we're back on. We're back up and running. Here we go. Just had to wait for the, the uh, clearance. Uh, that's the only only train I knew that was behind, uh, that was around us. So could be cause of that. But you think like we had to wait that long for a train that was that far behind, and we could have easily got to the station without any interference, where any of that BS. That train could have waited behind us while we continue and we would have been further than their shit edge heel by now. So we would have picked up the passengers, we would have been in front. It's, uh, yeah, very poorly done, to be honest. I, I don't know if it's a bug. It just, it feels wrong, really, to be honest. I, We're up and running now, who cares? <laughs> That's the way we roll.
Liverpool Line Street is next, and no, uh, that's not far down the road, actually. We're not that far from uh, Liverpool Line Street. So that'll be next. What the hell? It happened again.
There was no signal. There was no signal. Yeah? Let's uh, reset the last loading point. See if it happens again. There was no signal, yeah? Got a green light all the way. I see a great signal in front, yeah? Look at that. Out of nowhere, it does that. And this is the issue that's been happening with the Spirit of Steam since its release. There's certain services you can do, and they work quite fine. But all of a sudden, there's the, the services like that one that was a full-length run from Crew to Liverpool, and it does that. It's an absolute fucking joke. And seriously, Dovetail Games should be sued by the gaming authority 
for fucking bring, re releasing this shit. So-called checks and so-called quality for Xbox and that before it's released, and and yet uh, it's supposed to be quality checks and everything and green lighted from Sony and Xbox before it officially releases, but yet we have to have releases of this prophetic shit continue to happen from Dovetail. We had the issues from Brooklyn that are that are absolutely shocking. I've never seen in the Harlem line before, like the Brooklyn, the, the line I'm talking about, the Harlem line, you know, the same thing happened. Where it crashes the game, there's sick, there's there's trains that get stuck. You can't complete certain services. Same thing happening again with the Spirit of Steam. So-called supposed to be worked on for 18 months, but yet can't get fucking done right over the fucking dovetail for their pathetic fucking shit. Learn to fucking open a team up where you test every fucking run. If you're going to put a timetable service together, put a fucking team together that'll fucking test every single run before it releases. Surely you can put a team of like 12 people together. 12 people from the community to run every single run. And green light every single one. If they come across a thing like that, they can report it back to them and they'll get fixed before it's official release. It's what a, that's why it's called a, a pre a pre alpha. It's called an alpha. Yeah? Learn to bloody do alphas, then 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 you can test it yourselves in a beta stage and before you officially release. Even if we get delays on releases, at least we're getting quality. And actually getting what we paid for, like forty-two dollars Australian, for that. <laughs> forty-two dollars Australian for that. Don't think so. And you wonder why people come and watch me because I talk truth about this game. It needs to be fixed. It needs a team of experts that know trains and are all, and a trade enthusiast to have this game run 100% better than what it's been run by at the moment. Because at the moment, it's run by a bunch of fucking idiots that don't know shit about fucking simulation. Why do you think it takes SES software? Months and months to be before they release something because it's quality before be because it gets tested and tested and tested before it officially releases and when they do even show early footage it's beautiful it's beautiful I would like to get to that point in this game where all right we wait months and months and months before re before releases but I would like to see it release in like a in a in a bunch where we'll have like like the core updates we have every single year we'll get a uk route we'll get a and then a couple weeks later we'll get a, a german route and a couple weeks later we'll get a, a usa route if we get something like that but it takes longer and months for it to to be released and it's tested and every single timetable service is is being is being checked green lighted all the bugs and everything are being green lighted and fixed up before official release and it's get tested and tested and tested. None of this, oh, it goes in the Q&A in the so-and-so. If, man. Oh, I love this game, yeah? I love this game. But I want to see it done right. You know? After, you know, five years. I've been in this game for over five years, all right? And I can tell you right now, I've never seen it in this last 12-month bracket in the worst state it has ever been in in the history of Train Sim World. Uh, I, I thought the first year was bad, but this year, this last 12 months, has been an absolute disaster. And to be honest, people like myself that have been in this game for quite a long time, love to come and live stream for you guys on the Tuesday, on the Wednesday night, on the Monday nights for Train Sim World, Train Simulator. You know, and I do every couple of week, every couple of Fridays, and I do Saturdays when I'm here as well. You know, and I do uploaded videos. When I'm doing an uploaded video, if I was doing an uploaded video on that, and I've spent over an hour of my time to trying to do that, and then I get that happen, that destroys my whole day. 
because I've got like three, four videos I've got to do per day for Train Sim World 2 before I can go in and edit the videos. And then I've got to wait for all that to be down downloaded. That takes time. And then it takes ages for it to be downloaded to YouTube. It takes sometimes three, four, five, six, sometimes five hours on the big videos for it to fully process from YouTube's side into, and into, into at least 1080p. You know, before it goes 4K, and it takes usually 12 hours for that. Sometimes maybe a day, two days, depending on what how big the video is, for a 4K video to process. And that's why I always process my videos and, and, and premiere and most of the times in a ridiculous time here in Australia, say 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 11:30 p.m. You know, and and lucky to get one at 7 p.m. Uh, before hour before I go live every single every single night. You know, this is this is what I'm talking about. You know, I I want to see perfection. I'm over I'm over the talk. I'm over the talk from Dovetail Games. Over it. You know? I'm sick of their experts coming along and streaming the game. Like this like Matt is supposed to be the so called uh so called role, you know, and, and, and yet still takes time out to go and stream something. Get a streaming t team together and stream the game and then you guys worry about concentrating on getting the game fixed instead of coming along and talking shit about it all the time because we're sick of it. Everybody is sick of it. And for, and for, and you know what? I, I'm, I'm a veteran of this game and I'm telling you right now and I'm, and I'm saying this at the bottom of my heart. I want a team put together of a train enthusiasts that know trains, that know every single bit of simulation have a simulation background for a long time like I have over 35 plus years I have simulation background from the original sim city to now and I'll tell you right now I am at the point where I'm about to give up live streaming this game because of all this stupidity that is going on yeah we've got beautiful routes like the LGV Mediterranean no issues beautiful absolutely awesome southeastern high speed you know we got feedback from the community after the first preview and what did you do you made it perfection and what have you done man this is what i'm talking about back a few years ago yeah we had southeastern high speed release all right at the start of last year and we had a preview of it all right then they got feedback and then what, what did they do they had a second preview a couple weeks later we don't get first and second previews like we used to did we no we don't get those anymore we like to see those come back also you know, um, for instance, uh, what what route uh, can I say that is absolutely the perfection of gods? Um, let me see. Uh, do, do, do. East Coastway. East Coastway is the number one all-time greatest train sim, sim world route. I can't tell you enough. And um, the Hempstruck and Rumor. These are the two kings of TSW. I'm telling you right now. They are gods. And, man... Adam's team has done an absolute awesome job on this update for the Hamstruck Arriba, except for one bloody problem. There is one one particular area that has a um, that has a um, one of the signals they one of the um, signals they they fixed up one of the um, railway crossings, and there's a certain part of it, and it goes for about three, four, five minutes. It just goes beep, 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 beep along the whole train, and I don't know if you're experiencing this on console. But on PC, it definitely is an issue. And uh, you'll see, I've got an uploaded video coming up. Uh, I haven't still posted on the channel. I did a, off the, I did a um, special uh, scenario uh, that, of Creators Club. I did personally myself uh, coming up on the channel um, over the next 24 hours. And you'll see what I'm talking about in that video, where in just like three, four minutes, it'll just continue to go beep, 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 beep. Um, the rail crossing um, sound. It just non-stop. It's shocking. But uh, overall, that route has always been, you know, my favorite German route. So, yeah, there, there's some good stuff. But the the last year has just been shocking. Spirit of Steam has got, you know, services that are not working. And Harlem Line. They're the last two releases from Dovetail themselves. And they've absolutely destroyed them. Absolutely destroyed them. And you know, guys, if you still haven't if you still haven't purchased Spirit of Steam, I can tell you right now, hold off, do not buy it whatsoever. I, look, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm I'm at a point now where I don't even really want to buy anything else for Dovetail Games at the moment for for Train Sim World Two until we finally um, at a point where we we're back to perfection, you know, back to an, a beautiful state, you know, not this what we're we're seeing at the moment. It's just 
not worth it. Not worth it at all. To be honest, the way the spirit of steam is, you know, um, I've seen others complain, um, you know, talk about certain things uh, on their ser services that are happening, happening like I, like you, I was just experienced just then. Um, at other times, I, I've had two of them happen on the launch live stream uh, as well. So it's um, it's not good, and um, I don't like to rave on, but I'm I'm at the point now. I'm at the boiling point with it, where I'm just like, if you guys can't do the job right, get a team in there that can actually do it. Let's go somewhere nice and beautiful. Nice and beautiful. Where I had no stress. <laughs> Here we go now with, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do, uh, 14 hours, 24, here we go. Ah. You know what, I haven't had a cigarette for, like, f five days now, and, like, I haven't got any, and I am stressing to the shit house. and anyway, I'm just, uh. Really, really over the uh, the lack of, uh, you know, once again, so-called release 18 months of work on it, but yet can't not get it right. Oh yeah, just walk through there. Why not? What else you get stuff up on it? Even the AI system is completely destroyed. Like it, it's it's broken to the to the core. The whole game is broken. Like I, I hate to say it, but the more they've added, the more the more broken it's gotten. You know, I'll be I'll be honest. I'm at a point where you know, like I love train simulation, and I, I I'm I'm preferring doing train simulator at the moment. To be honest, I'm preferring playing that. My views are up higher than uh, train sim world with it as well. I get I get more views with train simulator than what I do doing train sim world too. I've noticed that. Um, you know, I've only fully gotten committed myself to Train Simulator Classic or Train Simulator 2022 when I first committed to it. Um, I committed to it back on the core update in, in October last year after 18 months of just mucking around with it and having a few issues with it as well. Um, didn't really have the, the best PC to play it as well. But... Um, yeah, didn't really get into Train Simulator, but I committed myself for the 22 update. I was quite impressed with the 22 uh, core update, uh, what was coming in and out, and I, and I was quite keen on the uh, the German route, actually, the new German route that was, you know, because I was interested in that that train um, that looked different to all the other German trains I've seen um, on 
from Train Sim World and Train Simulator, like all the German trains I've seen, I thought, oh, this is different. This is um, quite unique. Um, it's the white one with the, the like the triangles patterns on it. It's really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I was really keen on that. And I've heard good things about the Cross City uh, route, and I thought, oh, I'll give it a, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit myself to it now. I thought it was time to bring another train simulation game to the channel. So yeah, I'm, I'm honoured and privileged to be playing that. I love it. It's awesome. Like it's known as classic now. They've changed the name again for the millionth time. So it's. Hopefully, just going to be known as Training Simulator Classic now and just leave it. It's just TSC. That's it. Anyway, what delivery do we have? Oh, we have a special um, Southwestern Railway library on it today. 313. I hope Dovetail Games really watch my stream after that, to be honest, and, and hopefully they, uh, you know, do get it in their heads um, that, you know, my outrage is is, is met with uh, anger because, you know, and it's I, I, I'm doing this not just for myself, uh, being a, a huge a, a player for this game that plays it regularly, uh, but I'm doing this for all of the train, all the hardcore train sim. Sim world players, all the hardcore, all the players that are getting into the game, and learn to understand that I've played this game for a long time now, a long, long time, from the original TSW, and um, I've never, the last two releases, I've never seen such a lack of stupidity from the people that work at Dovetail Games and I'm talking everybody that works there I've never seen the lack of stupidity in my whole entire life to release something that is not thick not not completed it's not completed Especially when you you go on a 50 minute plus run, hour, hour plus run, and you're on the live stream with it, with your norm, with, especially your Tuesday stream, like one of our big streams, and um, I know we've got new routes coming out, but it's I'm at a point now where. I don't really give a shit what they are, because we they're going to be broken with broken services and, and, and everything again, what's the point? I love to do launch live streams, but I'm, 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 at, I'm, I'm at the point now where I am, at, I mod for American Truck Simulator and stuff folks, and I'm at a point now where I'm really really thinking of changing my lineup when I'm live streaming again putting another night on for American Truck Simulator I felt like giving up the stream, to be honest. Oh, 
almost quit the stream. Now I want to. But I thought, no, I keep going. I guess she's been just going like. Oh, it's been pretty too long to see that, fair enough. But, you know, the spirit of Sting is really, really sick. I do apologize, folks, but, um, you know, I'm sad. I'm sad because I've said it many, many times before. I just want so much. I want perfection for this game. I want this game to succeed. You know, this is, I, I'm into simulation. I've always been into simulation. You know, I've, you know ever since I was a little kid, uh, when I first seen SimCity, I fell in love with that game so much. And I'm talking about SimCity before SimCity 2000. SimCity 2000 was the king, but, you know, and then 4 on. Yeah, SimCity 3000 and then SimCity 4 came along, and obviously don't don't talk about the the reboot SimCity. <laughs> That's just that was Adam Bond. Uh, anyway, um, it's you know I've always just wanted this game to just be perfect and be built by people that know trains, know railways, know people what they want um and not be built at a half ass and it's you know we've had some good releases we've had some really bad releases like southeastern high speed i i can i, I i'll be on, really honest with you guys i think southeastern high speed was probably one of the very last real decent releases I didn't mind Hipstruck and um, Ham Hamburg Lubeck's release, obviously, because I had two and a half thousand views in the first 48 hours, but... Um, you know, it wasn't about that. It was... Um, not a bad route at its time, but even that has massive issues. And I've already, you've seen many times before, I've told you about the 10 second, 5 second um, delay part of the trip. The, the, biggest, the biggest spike in TSW, to be honest. My mate was saying they're called Pommies fucking whinges. <laughs> hey, us Aussies can be fucking whinges too, hey. We, we you know, we swear in that when we when we winch, you know, we don't we don't cry to the queen about it. <laughs> It's not I'm whinging about it, it's um, I'm frustrated about it. That's what it is, I'm frustrated. I'm fed up with it, fed up with the lack of, um, you know, just proves that they so-called put it through a Q&A, but yet, how's it get past if they don't, uh, if they have a lot of services that keep automatically coming up with it? Um, scenario is over due to fail signal <laughs> out of the middle of nowhere and then earlier today I had an automatic derailment <laughs> and no um, 
fireman on the other side of the train that I was on that actually, you know. Uh, I know we are supposed to be getting some uh, manual fireman and stuff. God knows when um, that is going to happen. There's supposed to be some other fixes coming for um, Spirit of Steam. I'll say there's probably way more now. <laughs> um, God knows when they're going to fix these issues. I'll, I'm probably going to say to you guys that... Um, I might take a break from Train Sim World live streaming for a while after today, um, and um, don't that doesn't but don't fear like we we're, we're still gonna do um, our mid our um, Choo Choo Tuesdays um, or midweek World of Trains one or the other. We'll we'll choose what one. Uh, we might do one week midweek World of Trains and then one week train. Um, Choo Choo Tuesdays. So, you know what? I'm, I'm probably going to do this until we get this big, big core update that's supposed to be fixing a lot of these issues in a few months' time. So, um, from next week, um, I'm going to make the decision right now. From next week, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to bring to you a mix-up for every week now here on our channel. So, um, next week, Midweek World of Trains will be on. Um, because it's not on this week. And, uh, Choo Choo Tuesdays will be taking off next Tuesday. So next Tuesday will be replaced with American Truck Simulator. And we'll be bringing to you American Truck Simulator live on next Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, God knows what the show is going to be called. <laughs> uh, I'll come up with something. But, um, yeah, so, uh, and then the following week will be Choo Choo Tuesdays and we'll, we'll do something else on the Wednesday. But, um, with the train action, uh, we'll, we're just going to do train simulator while these issues are going on and then when everything's fixed up and I feel satisfied to come back and do TSW on the streaming then I will but at the moment it's at a state where it's very unplayable with a lot of it and um, really can only rely on a lot of the old stuff stuff you know that's not going to have any dramas and... we've got a lot of great stuff to come up tonight I'm going to be heading to uh, the uh, we'll signal uh, very soon as that has had an update. I'm not going to do the full length like I did last uh, last week, but um, on the mid on the midweek world of trains spectacular. Oh, that was awesome! Part two parts, by the way. Last year, last Wednesday, not a real good response, but uh, I've seen a lot of people have been watching the replay, so.
<laughs> yeah, take a deep breath and calm down. That's, um, yeah. It's pretty hard when you um, get frustrated with it, Chris. You know, like it's, um, like, you know, what, you know where I'm coming across, you know, like I'm trying to look out for everybody that plays the game. It's not just myself, you know, like I look at these issues and I'm just, yeah, absolutely had a gut full of it. And, you know, it, it frustrates me because, you know, I could be up on an uploaded video doing that and, you know, an hour into a run and, you know, it just absolutely destroys your day, especially when, you know, you've only got a certain amount of time to do like three, four videos of gameplay for the channel and then you got to go in and edit, go into, uh, do those through the editing program and uh, edit the files and everything and put in all the symbols and you know that you know you see the Ch 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 Tuesday's logo on the corner there when I'm doing the uploaded videos I put up the TSW logo on the corner there or if I'm doing a rush hour one I put a rush hour logo up on there or so for Spirit of Steam one is now got the Spirit of Steam logo with the TSW logo uh, so you know all these things take time you know I've got to go in and I've got to you know mark those and put those into the correct positions and you know that takes time and you know, processing that video takes time and some of those videos could be a bigger file and then they have to go into another editing stage through Handbrake and it's like, um, it's just frustrating. And then, you know, you got to obviously post that video up to YouTube and um, that takes time depending on how big the file is, it'll take longer, you know. Especially when your download speed's only 50. Yeah, it's not that good. Well, mate, my like AJ's is 250. Can I come over to your house, AJ? You're got 250. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would love to have. Download speed, fucking hell. That'd be awesome. If I had 250 download speed, that'd be, man, that'd be awesome. I'll be, yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't have to worry. <laughs> wouldn't have to worry. I was like, hey, just going to editing and everything. Probably take longer for me to edit than bloody upload it to the YouTube channel then. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just uh, uh, a long process when I'm doing uploaded videos. And, I'm, and I like to do the uploaded videos because, you know, they get premiered first at 1080p, they get up to 4K, and it looks good. You don't hear me talk through to it until the end, you know, and I tell you guys that was a certain trip, and I tell you to like and subscribe, and, you know, the subscribe logo comes up with a sound effect, and then you'll see a bunch of videos come up on each corner, and the pl playlist will come up on the top right-hand corner, and then you'll see three other videos of the recent. Well, yeah. There might be a train simulator one there in Munster, but sometimes as well. But we have got some premieres coming up after the stream today as well, so do look out for those. There is a Spirit of Steam one that I did complete, so don't fear. We have got it back up there. <laughs> That's what the good thing is. I did get a service that actually did. I did pass earlier today, <laughs> so that's up on the channel. And every service I have passed so far, I've gotten a gold medal from. So, yeah, the ones that haven't got issues, I should mark them all down. All the ones that haven't got issues, and I can and I can tell you guys, oh, you can't do this one. This one works. <laughs> But yeah, do avoid that 8.18 a.m. service. So, um, I'll tell you right now, that, that's one of them that has that same issue you've seen at the start of uh, the um, coming into Liverpool Line Street. That's actually first time. I was surprised because I, I um, on the launch night, um, on the second part of, of, I think it was part two of the uh, last week's Midweek World of Trains live stream, we um, went into Liverpool Lime Street quite fine. There was no signal issue like that.
window is open. Again, before the update, you know, after the update, I verified the files, you know, like I normally do, and you know, um, always uh, verifying the files every couple days, and just to refreshing it up. And yeah, there's no no issues there, so I don't know, I don't know why. You know, others are coming across. Uh, same type of issues on the forums I've seen, but uh, yeah, nothing about a derailment one and. I was quite surprised because yeah, I come across a derailment one myself today. So. I just stopped at the market like it told me to, and then all of a sudden, it just blew the train away. <laughs> just like, what the hell? It's like a hurricane just, just, just hurricane or a tornado just come through and just <laughs> threw it up off the tracks like it was a matchbox car. Yeah. You know? That one was really weird. I'm like, eh, that one. I'm not come across yet. I've had a couple of derailment uh, issues in the past. Uh, I think the last one I experienced was with the uh, 1938 tube stock from River Games uh, that was added to the Bakerloo line and uh, going to uh, Queens Park. Uh, one of the um, coming into one of the platforms uh, was um, just a derailment out of nowhere. You know, even going slows. Derailment. Yeah. Uh, yes, it does, uh, Chris. Uh, I'll show you when I get to the platform. That was, um, yeah, what I did earlier with the uh, blow up about the uh, the lack of uh, cons consistency for from dovetail for train sim world two. It's uh, it's been uh, a fair few months of uh, building up frustration to be honest, and I'm just I was at a boiling point where I just had to let loose on everybody 
uh, here tonight, and I, I may, I'm, I've mainly done it so hopefully they will come across this this stream some way and understand that um, as a veteran of the game, I've had an absolute gutful of the lack of um, lack of uh, complacency on uh, their quality. And I'm speaking for the console gamers, especially the Xbox gamers with the, the jackhammer issues and the uh, PlayStation games, uh, gamers with the, the limitation issues. Um, being coming from console from TSW to PC myself, I know where you're coming from. And um, I'm, uh, you know, I came over from console with the original TSW. Um, played TSW2 on both console and P PC and uh, it's um, not experienced the jackhammer issue myself on Xbox but actually I've heard of it, I've actually heard it through the streaming because of the preview, the previews we've seen on Xbox it's not good, I'll tell you right now. Um, yeah. There's nothing else, I, uh, nothing else I can say, but um, the team just hang your heads in shame. If that was done, I swear, I swear to God, if if they're if they're a company based in Asia and they did that, they would get whipped. They would get whipped. <laughs> Trust me, they would get whipped. I prefer to wait longer for releases to have perfection than to have releases released at a half, not even a half release done. You know, like the the sign. I said to you guys for months before this release, didn't I? That I hope we don't get another rush hour issue. I hope we don't get another rush hour situation. And here we are, around the same. I, I tried to warn you, and I, I had a feeling about this that it's not going to go good. <laughs> the thing I'm surprised about more than anything with it is that how quickly I've actually learned how to actually drive a steam train. That's the only thing I'm, I'm surprised about it. Um, I, I thought I would struggle big time, but yeah, I've learned. Um, I've learnt with it now, so it's good. I actually learnt something else about it today, how to do the hill starts. Now, I know how to do the hill starts now. I actually have to release certain, uh, with the uh, freight ones, um, I have to uh, release brakes on the actual uh, carriages. Um, now, there's a, 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 there's a, like a lever on the sides of the carriages now. Um, certain carriages that um, you have to pull to release uh, the vacuum on those. Uh, to take the brakes off them. So, well, I've learnt that one today. I just hope Dovetail when they do this, um, I, I'm going to watch the replay of it obviously, but I hope in their roadmap stream they actually acknowledge the issues that are occurring and um, apologise. I just love to see them apologise about it. Yeah, yeah apologise about it, but acknowledge the fact that you've gotten it wrong again and that you need to correct this as soon as possible. I like to know is who is the the person 
that um, so called checks to you know it just proves that they check every single service it just that's why I said they need to hire a team even if it's a dozen of the community that can test every single timetable service Takes a couple more months, yeah. That's what I thought. Alright, here we are at uh, London Road. We are one stop away to our destination here on this run. No more talking about that stuff now, anyway. Let's enjoy. Let's enjoy the next hour, folks. Hour to go. You're on Choo Choo Tuesdays. You're with the Aussie Don, the Godfather. G'day to you all. We're coming to you from our studios here in Sydney, Australia. This is Australia Worldwide Gaming, Australia's premier simulation YouTube channel. We're going to be having next Tuesday off, folks, uh, and uh, we're going to be replacing next Tuesday with American Truck Simulator. Wednesday next week will be Midweek World of Trains. We are having tomorrow off uh, due to the NRL State of Origin Game 1, uh, so we won't be live tomorrow. But we have got a replacement uh, on standby for that, ladies and gentlemen. At the same time, we would be not uh, live. Uh, we have a, a really good almost two-hour run on off-the-rails scenario. Ladies and gentlemen, off for, off the rails scenario of Train Sim World 2. Uh, live from uh, it will be premiering at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, the 8th of June 2022, at 8 p.m. in the East Coast of Australia, 7:30 p.m. South Australia, Northern Territory, 6 p.m. Western Australia, 11 a.m. UK, 12 p.m. Germany, 6 a.m. Boston, 3 a.m. Los Angeles, 3:30 p.m. New Delhi and 5 a.m. in Mexico City. And we will 3.30 a.m. Uh, 3 a.m. in Vancouver in Canada and 6 a.m. in Iowa in Ottawa in Canada. We have for you a almost two hour service on off the rails with a Jubilee steam train on the Northern Trans Pennine. As we go from Leeds to Manchester on a very, very challenging uphill climb. Very struggling <laughs> at, point, at parts. It is a really good run though. Slow, but good. Um, so yeah, do check that out. If you are not a fan of the footy uh, here in Australia, you want to watch that instead or from overseas, and, you know. So that'll be replacing tomorrow's midweek world of trains and uh, we'll be doing that one. That is up on the channel now. So uh, set the reminder for that one. Give it a big thumbs up and do and do watch the premiere. If you don't want to watch the premiere, you can watch it afterwards at 1080p. Uh, sorry, at 4K at 60 frames per second. All right. Trying to 
find it now. There it is. <laughs> so like, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> uh. What's the differences between that? That lights up. Look at that. That one's cool. I like that. Um, bit of light cloud. Uh, what have we got? 18 minutes. Sounds good. You're on Choo Choo Tuesdays, episode 77 with the Aussie Don. G'day to you all. Live stream chat is subscribers only. If you're not a subscriber, you're a bot. They've actually updated the uh, cab as well in here. And, uh, ooh, we have a destination board in here now too. Yes, they definitely fucking have. Um, cool. That wasn't working beforehand. And this is, yeah, it's definitely brighter in here than what it was. 100%. This has definitely been updated. Yeah, that wasn't working. That's definitely good stuff. Cool. train lights on in there. Flying out of the box. We got any Germans in the building tonight? Get a good tag to you guys. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, this cab's definitely had an update as well. This is definitely, uh, I remember it being really dark down that corridor there and it was really dull in here and that never used to, have uh, 
capabilities and I always been always said to you guys I'm hoping that they'll you know one day they'll add the capabilities to put the PSI in um, in this particular loco so yeah that's good to know that that's finally there if I remember rightly you used to be able to have to turn that key but now there's no actual you don't have to do that anymore so they have actually eliminated that So that's a bit of sad news, but anyway, we'll sacrifice that before I open that any day of the week. Let's open up these windows. done a lovely job on this uh, rebuild, I can tell you that much. Uh, but yeah, the one thing I've, I did point out about, there's only one thing I've really seen, well there's two things I've seen naturally wrong for the Madden's team that, um, uh, for the updates for the uh, Reserve Legend. Uh, PSI uh, not working properly on the uh, 1442 Talent 2 MD. Uh, I have seen somebody else um, bring this up on the uh, forum which is great because I can't say nothing on the forums <laughs> so that's good uh, hopefully they've noted that there is an issue there and um, yeah the issue with the uh, rail crossing bell just continuously just going beep 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 while you're driving the train along um, you, as soon as you get past that rail crossing um, it goes away yeah, it's uh, absolutely annoying and it's not right. So that needs to be addressed. As far as everything else is, yeah, it's good. Um, loving the new track rendering really for Hemp Shop Crew rather than man. That's awesome. We have an off the rail scenario. Well, it's not an off the rail scenario as such because the, um, the uh, 403 ice train is actually on the head structure group right now on the timetable but you can't actually do a timetable service on it so I decided to do one. Uh, so from A to Z, a couple of stops along the way. We've got uh, my own scenario design uh, of uh, high speed on the on the roof on the uh, on the roof on the ra sorry is um, going to be uh, getting uploaded to the channel later on today as well. I 
obviously we are in winter here in uh, Australia and absolutely cold here in Sydney. It's actually a bit of It's starting off with real cold. We've got a 13 degree today coming up Celsius. It's cold for me. That's cold for Sydney. Very unusual to be getting that already at the start of the huh? Coming into the uh, next stop. That's perfection, uh, okay. Nice. Bitte achten Sie darauf, Ihre persönlichen Gegenstände nicht zurückzulassen. Nicht zurückzulassen? Okay.
I think it said something uh, on these terms. I think Gary Larson was a really good Queenslander and that they that they had a dynamite team. <laughs> something, something about Gary Larson. See that flipping sound? That's the sound I'm talking about on the head shucky room rod. It just continues to play for like five minutes of the run. There's one one part of it that does it. It's very annoying.
Okay, let's have a look at the results on that one. Oh, very nice. All right. Yon Choo Choo Tuesdays, get to you all. I am the Godfather. Thank you for joining me. It's on and privilege. As always, giving you our Tuesday train action here. Uh, next Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we won't be doing Choo Choo Tuesdays. We'll be doing uh, Midweek World of Trains next week, though. Um, and we're on for All Aboard Live with the Godfather again with episode 6 uh, on m next Monday. If you didn't watch last night's All Aboard Live with the Godfather, you missed out on a beautiful, awesome show. Uh, a lot of great views. Uh, a little bit down on the views, but uh, actually up from the previous week. So uh, it is um, definitely worth the watch. And uh, we did Train Simulator Classic. Mondays are Train Simulator Classic only uh, here at Australia Worldwide Gaming. Uh, with our live stream, all aboard live with the Godfather, back again on uh, Monday, this coming Monday at 8 p.m. in the East Coast of Australia, 11 a.m. UK, 12 p.m. Germany, 6 a.m. Boston, 3 a.m. Los Angeles. Come and join us then for another fantastic free hour extravaganza of Train Simulator Classic. All right, where are we going now? USA, 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 USA. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. All right. Uh, this one is going to be really, really cool. We're going to go from uh, Providence to Boston. We hope you enjoy. It's our final run for this week's Midweek World of Trains. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ch -ch 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 <laughs> I talked about that earlier. I said that earlier, didn't I? Not long ago. Um, final run on this week's Ch -ch 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 Tuesdays. Here we go. Gonna worry about any razzle dazzle. Just gonna enjoy. What do we got? Oh yeah, look at this one.
Amtrak's what saved uh, ra American Railways, uh, Chris. If it wasn't from uh, the Sabres at the time, yeah. Man, imagine what uh, the cost of rebuilding the network would have been. <laughs> Man. No, it was good. Railways, folks. Too much fun. <laughs> it's frustrating and fun. <laughs> frustrating when people when when you got people that build the game don't know how to build the game right. Trust me to get a run with a bloody train in front. It's gonna nag the shit up. speaking uh, everybody that's uh, sitting down in this uh, train now get up and boogie <laughs> <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> bit of humor in your now We've had the frustration, we had the riot earlier, the pigs, forks and knives, now we're just having a bit of fun. <laughs> uh, a bit of Boston Sprinter to finish it off tonight, folks. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to be stopping at uh, 128, uh, 24 miles. Then we shall be uh, Boston Back Bay, I think, after that. Yep, and uh, followed by the uh, Boston South Station. Then our journey at 20 hours 09, uh, 48, we are due there. So we've got a fair bit to go. One of those five second spikes. I thought we had, we had, we got more than one. Huh. There's another one. I swear, uh, before the um, update had happened in April, um, this route was working quite well.
Happy 50th M track, that's correct, yeah. It is a um, beautiful, beautiful library to dovetail done, but uh, this one's a Craters Club, I do believe. It's a really cool one. It's actually, uh, I do believe one of the skins has actually evolved in the 50th anniversary pack for Train Simulator. And uh, we had a couple days to download that one for free, and I actually did. So, uh, downloaded it while it was for free. like one of the runs we've done before was uh, going uh, the opposite way, how it uh, sort of starts off in the day and then ends up going into the night time. Very similar, this one, how yeah, it's... Going into the uh, night time. keep pumping along there you know with that train that's in front it's been nagging the shade out of us good to the signal so uh, to the stop so it's all good Might have a, their dinner and a cup of coffee and a hot chocolate. They might have a donut as well. Why not?
Uh, this is Route 128, now we're track 2, track Route 28, and it's a stop here. And we'll have passengers that will need to stop here. Please make sure you've got all your luggage and belongings. If you leave anything behind, we will confiscate it, and the Godfather will sell it back on the hot market. Where's she go? <laughs> Good day, sir. Big day today. He's just sitting there. Just Take some time. Uh, I love being stuck in between uh, two people here and, you know, just a bunch of... Oh, Hang on, oh, there's a bunch of them there. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, we're just having a gang bang in the middle. <laughs> oh, yep, and they decided to. Uh, oh, yeah, she's decided to get it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> That's why I keep telling you guys the whole game's broken. It's like everything they've done, it just needs to be completely stripped, completely down, and rebuilt all over again. That's just the way I look at it. Boston Back Bay next stop. Don't forget we had a premiere earlier tonight as well uh, from uh, the London Commuter and it was a uh, Platinum Jubilee uh, library uh, of the BR Class 377. So uh, do check that one out if you haven't already. It's a lovely, lovely run. 4K 60 frames per second and uh, pretty de decent uh, run. Just a little bit under, a little bit over 30 minutes. So yeah, a little bit under or a little bit over. It's one or the other. It's a pretty decent run. Half an hour. You can't go wrong. It's uh, Very, very good. Check it out. The 
will be the only time you'll be seeing us do a uh, Queen's Platinum Jubilee uh, library run on the London commuter. We did one on the South East in high speed, a little short one. Uh, we did one with the new steam train. <laughs> yeah, I, I, true that, Chris. I, that's what I was sort of like. Hey, what's going on here? You know, it's sort of like not a, not an appropriate place to be gathering around. <laughs> yeah, it certainly didn't look nice, did it? I wouldn't like to be in that mosh pit. <laughs> Get a wrestle now. You make sure you're in a in a mud. You know, you just got to get a get an arena going. You know, not to squash up like that. You know. Yeah. Lower that speed now, because we're going into a 115 mile per hour area. I wonder why we don't get into the, um, it says 20 hours at free, but yet we can't even get in there because there's a training front.
আছে Okay, got to wait for this uh, train to clear. Alright, uh, it's moving now, so we should be uh, good to go very shortly. Yeah, buddy. Get him around. <laughs> That's what you say. Queenslander. Yeah, I'll be wearing my Maroons jersey tomorrow. <laughs> Gee, he's again. Yeah, I actually got to find it. Get it covered somewhere. 
Yo, sun cop logo. <laughs> It's got the four X on the side. We've got to find out if I've got a few beers actually. A few beers tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I, I want to see what the boys. Are, I want to see what the boys are doing. I'm gonna have a few drinks with the boys, but I don't know. It's just, my mate's got work the next day, so I don't want to be sort of asking him. Huh? Well, Joey's got work. Huh? I know AJ's. AJ, it's not working at the moment, but uh, he's a good boy. He doesn't drink. He does drink, but he doesn't like he's he's got his head. He's got the he's got his head in the right space, but he doesn't. You know, he doesn't drink all the time. Like if he has a drink, he'll probably have one, two. You yeah. know, doesn't smoke. You yeah. know. You'll never smoke. You'll never smoke. But um, yeah, he's, he's got his head in the right spot. So yeah, I'm not going to force somebody to drink. You know, it's totally their choice. All right, we're coming into Boston Back Bay. Sort of sums up the colour of our logo tonight, doesn't it? We've got some, uh, you know, some New South Wales logo uh, colour in there. We've got some Queensland colours in there as well. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't. It, it's not that. It's not that colour for that for the, that simple reason. It's just that was the, you know, as you can see, the first train that we did tonight. We didn't get to finish, but we had a ride about. <laughs> anyway. That's way better than that. Oh, I'm going to get up here and grab a collectible. Here it is. As you know, folks, this is the fourth time I've had to reset my game <laughs> since launch. <laughs> since uh, TSW launch. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not really worried about the collectibles as much. I have been grabbing a couple of them today, actually, with a few of the runs I've done. So you'll see that in my uploaded videos. Right. Yeah, buddy. Hopefully I'll be talking on Thursday night because I've got a sore throat actually. I've got a I feel like I've got a bit of a flu. It's definitely not COVID. Don't worry about that. Alright. Here we go.
I got to wait for the trains to come out, I do believe.
right, there we go with uh, that one. Very nice. Our final trip for today, the Boston Sprinter. I'm out of there. All right. We thank you very much for watching this week's edition of Choo Choo Tuesdays, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with me, the Godfather. Uh, we will be... Uh, Having a week off uh, from Chi Chi Tuesdays uh, next, uh, well, maybe, we're not too sure yet. We're probably, probably back next week uh, with uh, Train Simulator Classic. So, um, yeah, that'll be cool. Um, so, uh, there'll be a full replay of today's live stream and added to our dedicated Train Sim World 2 playlist. Like and subscribe to Australia Worldwide Gaming. Turn that notification bell on and check out the links on the screen. If you're watching the replay, there'll be links on the screen there. If you're watching this live, they won't be there now, but they'll be there later on. Um, and uh, there will be... Um, our next live stream uh, is Thursday here at Australia Worldwide Gaming. Uh, we're having a day off tomorrow. Uh, it is State of Origin, so I'm sitting back and watching the Mighty Maroons kick New South Wales' ass. Hopefully. Uh, so <laughs> we are going to be... Uh, doing that tomorrow and uh yeah there will be a replacement though uh of a almost two hour run on the northern trans pennine as we go off the rails with the jubilee steam train on the northern train on the northern trans pennine and that is going to be uh on from 8 p.m in the east coast of, of australia uh 6 p.m western australia 7 30 p.m south australia northern territory 10 p.m in new zealand 11 a.m uk 12 p.m germany 6 a.m. Boston, 3 a.m. Los Angeles. Do go, do check out that uploaded video on its premiere at the same time as we normally do our midweek World of Trains. That is the, the replacement uh, for this week's midweek World of Trains as we are having a week off due to the Rugby League State of Origin series. Until um, next time, I am the Godfather. Have a great day. We'll, roadmap coming up in a few hours here at Australia Worldwide Gaming. I'll get all the details and everything together the video, and we'll post it, and it'll premiere as soon as we can get it out there. Uh, so do look out for that, and uh, it's bye-bye for now.